Good afternoon, everybody. Today is uh, March 11, 2022, late Friday, af uh, late Friday afternoon. Um, um, today, I'm going to be uh, going into Douglaston again, the midsection of Douglaston. Right now, I am on Northern Boulevard, heading east um, in the Douglaston area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head south. Uh, of Douglaston Parkway uh, and then to the left of the LIE service road Long Island Expressway and then back up north to Marathon Parkway and that is the midsection the boundary line of the midsection of Douglaston um, Douglaston also overlaps with uh, Little Neck so there's going to be portions of the street that is going to be on Douglaston side and portion of the street that is going to be on Little Neck side. Um, yes, again, this is the car wash again. <laughs> and uh, you see that the Q12 uh, and also the N20G goes along Northern Boulevard. Q12 goes to Little Neck. N20G is for the Nassau County bus which goes to Great Neck Station. Right before the next light, I am going to be uh, making a turn to Douglaston Parkway, and it's also at the at the corner of the intersection. Uh, that's going to be a CVS Pharmacy over there. So this is the mid portion of Douglaston. I'm gonna make a right over here, Alameda. made a loop and headed back to Northern Boulevard again. Uh, I'm gonna make a stop right over here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, right again, I'm gonna make a right again and then make another right to get back on Douglas and Parkway. The streets are pretty busy today, but it is Friday night or Friday late Friday afternoon, and everyone's um, rushing back to get home. A lot of people that lives on uh, lives in Nassau County, they commute to uh, New York City, and most people uh, nowadays drive to work. They live in Nassau County, and they drive to work to uh, you know in New York City, in Queens County, or in Brooklyn. Or, uh, you know, Manhattan. And Northern Boulevard is one of the main, you know, one of the main roads that travels from, uh, you know, from the west to the east. Um, it actually starts from the beginning of Queens, um, you know, right off uh, Midtown Tunnel. Well, not Midtown Tunnel, right off Queens Boulevard section. And it heads east all the way out to Suffolk County. Please comment below with, uh, you know, if you'd like to share any comments or want to comment on any inaccuracies I've, you know, I've uh, uh, spoken about so far. 
and sometimes it's very uh, uh, difficult to um, I don't know, talk and do something else at the same time. So now I'm heading back onto Douglas and Parkway again and we're gonna go straight down Douglas and Parkway until we hit Long Island Expressway and I'm gonna take the service road heading east from there. Oh, so now you see that you know New York City the speed limit is only 25 miles you know an hour um, and there are a lot of speed cameras in New York City. <laughs> and tickets aren't cheap either. these houses here they are single-family houses for the most part there are a lot of uh, newer houses that are being built and they're turned into uh, mansions This area of Douglaston, they are uh, most, mostly residential. There's really no commercial buildings in this midsection of Douglaston. They're all single family houses. Do I will, you know, instead of going to the Long Island uh, Expressway, I'm gonna make a left here and just go through some of the local streets in this section. And you can take a look at these type of houses here. So the price ranges of these houses, they are in the, you know, the 950 range, 950 thousand and up. Right now, I'm traveling on 54th Avenue. There are speed bumps here because uh, most likely I'm getting very close to a school. I'm gonna make a left back here. I mean, right at the next intersection on 248th Street. And then I'll go back and just circle around this midsection of Douglaston neighborhood. So, yeah, as I predicted, there is a school here. <laughs> um, so, I'm at the intersection of Dornhill Avenue and 248th Street. So there's a school here um, and a large playground. So this is the Lewis Pasteur Park. Okay. Let me see if I can find the front entrance of the school. 
school and see which school this is. So I'm gonna make a right at Van Zandt Avenue. So this is a, it is a very nice quiet neighborhood. Because in this section, there's, you know, as I said before, there's really no reason to uh, come into this section of Douglaston unless you live here. So I'm heading up a hill. Oh, on to Marathon Parkway. So I'm gonna make a right over here and take a look to see uh, what school this is. Alright, so this is the middle school MS67. I, mean, I guess this is the zone school for Douglaston. The middle school. everywhere so I gotta obey the speed limit <laughs> all right so now I'm on Thornhill Avenue and then back down so I'm heading west right now Going back to uh, Douglaston Parkway. Overbrook Street. I'm gonna go down another block. Uh, these are all very nice detached houses. <clears throat> okay, so I'm still on Dorn Hill. 44th Street. I'm gonna go down another block. And I believe that is Douglaston Parkway in the front. Okay, so I'm gonna make a left here and get back onto uh, the Long Island Expressway. They should really put a street light over here. It's pretty hard to make a left turn without any street lights. Because I gotta watch both sides. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Long Island Expressway. Interstate 495. This is the main highway that cuts across Long Island from Queens all the way out to uh, to Suffolk County. And if you drive from one end to the other end uh, without traffic, you're probably looking at uh, at least two hours drive. There are a lot of speed runs that people do at night, and all over YouTube where people are able to do it under one hour starting from Midtown Tunnel all the way out east but of course that's not advised because uh, you're definitely going over the speed limit of at least 120 miles an hour <laughs> if you could do it or if you could make make it under an, under under one hour so now I'm gonna make a left turn on Hortus Harding Expressway which is the service road of Florida Expressway Further down here, you see on this side of Douglaston are co-ops. 
the cooperative units. So this is the Beach Hills cooperative units. So cooperative units are not found elsewhere or they're uh, not found in many of the states. So what it is, is that you are buying corporate shares of the corporation and you get an exchange of the stock certificate, you get to live at the unit. So it's very similar to like owning your place except that you don't actually own the property, you only own shares of the property. Now these are some of the restaurants over here and a little strip of the business area and this guy, I don't know what this guy's doing, he's just backing up for no reason. I'm gonna do now is that I'm at the intersection of Marathon Parkway and Hall's Hall Expressway. If I go any further, it would be in Little Neck. And I believe there are, this is the boundary of Douglaston and uh, Little Neck. So I'm not gonna go down any further on Hall's Hall Expressway because I'm gonna make a separate video on Little Neck. And what I'm gonna do now, I just made a left turn on Marathon Parkway. I'm heading back up north again towards Northern Boulevard. <clears throat> and it's very possible that this, this section it's Little Neck because I'm not too familiar with the overlapping between the two towns. And it's really not unheard of in Nassau County or in Suffolk County where a house is split between two towns. So your front yard is one town but your backyard is another town. So you see that there's also very nice houses over here. And right here there's a speed camera. So I'm gonna go extra slow. Speed limit is only 20 miles an hour Monday to Friday because there's a school over here And that, that was the same school that we just passed by before This is definitely more than a million dollars. I won't be surprised if it costs three to four million dollars. And we are at the intersection of Northern Boulevard and Douglaston. So, I'm gonna stop this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Um, if there's any inaccuracies or you wanna, you know, uh, comment of any of any, any anything that I said in this video, please comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. See you next time.